Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're having an issue with IPv6 connectivity and you're experiencing no network access on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu and type in CMD. Best match, you'll come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, go ahead and type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on the keyboard. It should come back with Windows IP configuration. Successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to go ahead and type in NETSH space WinSock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K space reset. Again, exactly how you see it on my screen. Go ahead and hit enter on the keyboard. Should come back with successfully reset the WinSock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Go ahead and close out of here and restart your device. And then hopefully that's resolved the issue. Something else we can try here as well, if you open up the search menu and type in troubleshoot, best match to come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. Select the other troubleshooters option. And then underneath most frequent, select the internet connections troubleshooter and then the run button. And then attempt to follow along with the on-screen prompts here as best as you can. And then hopefully it would have resolved the problem. You can also go underneath other and go down to Network Adapter and select the Run button. And then again, follow along with the on-screen prompts here and hopefully it can resolve the issue for you. You can also attempt to reset all of your network settings back to default. So if you're using a Wi-Fi based connection, you're going to have to have your Wi-Fi passcode and username nearby because once you restart your computer, you will have to enter back in that key if you want to get back onto the internet. So anyway, go ahead and open up the search menu and type in settings, best match, or come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. Select network and internet on the left side. And then on the right side, you want to select advanced network settings. Underneath more settings, you want to select network reset, reset all network adapters to factory settings. This will remove and reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Select the Reset Now button. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Select Yes. And you will be signed out, so go ahead and just save and close of anything on your screen and restart your device. And there you go. So hopefully I was able to resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.